Hello, this is Lance Johns. <clears throat> I want to talk about the casinos in Phoenix area in uh, Mar- Maricopa, which, which is in um, P- Pino- Pinal County. But um, they opened before the Las Vegas casinos will open. Well, they haven't opened here yet, but they're supposed to open by June at least, maybe. But uh, it shows pictures of them gambling at the casino in Chandler, well, uh, outside Chandler, Gila Casino, Lone Butte. They have passy glass in between the people, so they're not being exposed to each other. Then, outside of the Lone Butte Casino, people are waiting in line. The opening day last, yeah, it was last Friday, opening day. But getting to the story, Phoenix casinos that are running offer Las Vegas preview. So these casinos will give you an idea of what the Las Vegas casinos will have when they open. Five casinos in the Phoenix area open Friday. Offering, excuse me, offering a glimpse into what hype hyped in health and sanitation measures and pin up the man may look like in Las Vegas in the weeks come in the weeks to come. Eight forty five AM a long time ago I was somewhere in mass or it is not right around the Harris I Chen Casino in Mary Copra for doors open at nine. The crowd cheered and people flooded into casinos which had been closed since March nineteenth. Staff members held open the door but their face masks behind cloak cloth ma- face mask and reminding guests to keep their distance. The shutdown has been hard, said Jennifer Duncan, a surprise one of the first to re-enter casino. You isolated a boy. It was definitely exciting to get in and be able to sit down at slot machine. Every other slot machine on the casino floor was unavailable. Un- a- a- This is gonna be a long one. The slobber change was unavailable for use and signage drew out the floor reminding people to keep their distance. One sign covering a slob machine said, Don't get too close, you'll turn me on. Other signs suggest that guests wash their hands frequently and wear masks. Sickles on the floor remind them to keep six feet apart. There was a limit C black blackjack tables. Each with ten dollar limit for tables that normally be five dollar at this time of day, according to Alec Hay, retired Mary Copa resident who visits the casino five times a week, play poker before the shutdown. The property poker room as well as Kino Bico remain closed. Staffers deals you wipe down touching points, hands as other words available at multiple stations. The property is managed by Caesar Entertainment Corporation, owned by the Akchan. Indian community according to Caesar's latest annual filing. The property only has 1,150 slot machines, 30 table games spread across the, the 6 5,200 square foot casino. Las Vegas, uh, um, Mah- Mahalia and Tom St- Steiner drove down for over Friday morning, leaving at 2 a.m. Six hours is nothing, Mahela Stalin said. Nothing. She and her husband had gone to casinos in Iowa last week, a 16 hour drive. She does not have any safe concerns. As the casino reopens amid the pandemic, I don't worry that, and that she keeps her distance from others. Neither she or her husband wore a mask. Karen Chapel or Tucson also decided to forego a mask on Friday, saying that she's not worried at all about the CB19. If God planned for me to catch and die, it's his plan. She said, obviously, I'm I'm not going to take any chances, but I, I'm not going to lick your face or anything. Oh, excuse me, but I can't live my life in fear. I know that's real. Sal Mesa of Gilbert did not wear a mask, but said he was taken up because of keeping his distance. Well, as I said, how the hands off him. He and his wife regularly visit the casino really twice a month before it shut down. He said the two were excited when they learned local casinos will be back in business. They plan to make a Las Vegas trip once Nevada casinos reopen.
They said the virus will be around for a while. I can sit at home for so long. He said, I'm in my 60s. I've been around during. I was placed off for 29 years. It was supposed to be a lot of days. I'm still here. Well, he believes that when it's your time, it's your time. He said, the the heightened health and sanitation measures that casinos made him feel safer. I know everyone's cautious of the virus, he said. It seemed like social distancing is working out the best they can. Caesar Smoking Richard Groom said the company was pleased that guests were ready to visit at Chin. We will continue to work hard to ensure a day and our employees feel comfortable with the property, he said via email. Gamblers can expect the similar protocol to Caesar Las Vegas Hotel Casino. Bruce said, Our chicken, hyphen health and sanitation measures are co- consistent with our other properties. While Horse Pass, roughly uh, 20 miles north of Ak Chin, Gila Gaming Enterprises closed while horse pass were packed with players early Friday afternoons. The casino in Chella, Arizona, excuse me, it opened at noon Friday. Signs inside and outside advertised guests to keep the distance and wear masks. Although many probably were not wearing face coverings, others had their masks pulled down as they smoked, while some slot machines were shut down to enforce social distancing. Us was separated by a plus gas safety shield. Dorothy Hernandez visited the property with her daughter while her in her car being serviced in Scottsdale. She was the surprise was busy as it was. It was hard to find an open slot machine by one PM when she felt but she felt safe playing slot with her bass. Security guard stationed near the front entrance handed out water bottles and one guest remained six feet apart in the casino. But Steve Sandoval makes her said he thought many people were choosing to know the new guidelines. Sandoval's friend Peter Da Da Sorrow poured out a player who sat down and shoved immediately after another player left. Not give us a, a staff a chance to wipe it down. People have to help out too. It can't be all of us, you know. Sandoval said there are people without masks, people without gloves. We had to bring it to another level of cleanness. A representative of Gila. Did not immediately return a request for comment. Dasario said the two visited to see what a new, new casino city measures look like. Actually, he plans to visit Las Vegas soon as it reopens. The two usually visit at least once a month. And Dasario said he's been going to Las Vegas since he was a kid in the 1970s. In, in the 70s, is working on Las Vegas theme tattoo sleeve. He pointed out, "Welcome to Fab Las Vegas." I signed a link below his shoulder. There was a little trial before we, we go to Vegas. We want to see how it is. Lone Butte. While wow, horse pass. Um, no, wow, wait a minute. Wild wow, horse pass is, it's not really, it's not in Chandler. Well, they say it's in Chandler, but it's actually on, on it's actually like like south of Phoenix a little bit. It's not really on Chandler's side, but wherever. Wild Horse Pass, near, near, near sister, probably Longview, also dealt with heavy crowds at Friday. At 3 p.m., a line of roughly 100 people wrapped around the building under a shaded entry. Security guards allowed two guests in for every two who left. Pat Francis waited in line about 15 minutes for her husband before been allowed to go in the casinos. This was the second casino trip that day. They left Wild Horse Pass because of the crowds. We're not doing a lot of social distance. They're not doing a lot of social distance. I said of Wild Horse Pass is very packed. You can't really find Michelle. She harbored with you no know, little ill ill will Friday. Come in, how friendly their staff was that day. I'm happy mostly for the people that worked. They said they have. They have more than two months, so we tip in a little extra. In the casino parking lot, Maxine Mills of Apache Junction tied a pink scarf around her face before walking to the casino. Mills said the scarf was uncomfortable and high, high but the staff told her to wear a mask when she called in. According to Gila Rivers' website, guests are encouraged to wear a mask. We're just trying to get out, and, uh, and about the day, Mills said, it's been really bored. We're just trying to have some fun. Well, there you have it. Um, the Arizona casinos have opened up. They actually have. They have a V Quiver, which is south, a little south of Phoenix. 
like as so like at the end of the reservation, you, you go down Fifty First Avenue and, and it's right there. But but by the newly expanded two oh two, the Warehouse Pass is like south of uh Albuquerque. I don't know why they call it Chandler. That's actually that that's actually considered Phoenix, but I don't know or Albuquerque. Now the the Lone Butte is in Chandler, and then they have um, for Medal, which is outside of Scottsdale, and they have and they have the other two in Scottsdale too, off of McDowell and off of uh, Indian Bend. I I can't I can't think th think of that their names. Oh that. It was. Is it the uh, I can't even think of the names, but yeah, the Phoenix area has has like six casinos, as far as I know. But hopefully, if they didn't, and Maricopa has the the Harris Casino, I cheer. But there you go. Uh, wear wear face masks. What? Ooh. Watch this out your hands. I'll be. I, I need to lay down. Don't be a demand or hoarder. If you're sick, stay at the, uh, stay at home. Go to the hospital. You need to go. Don't don't be afraid. Speak out. Um, see something, say something. As always, hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for listening. And this is Les Johns. And have a good day. And hopefully, a lot of things will see those open soon because people are very anxious to come here. All right, thank you.